Let's compare the computer. Awesome. So good morning, everyone. I'm really glad to be here with you today. Whoa. Yeah. So let's just go ahead. And so what's everything that came up that's not a contribution Whoa. to all of us Whoa. over the from over the weekend? <laughs> Yikes. Wowza. Whoa. So everything that wasn't a contribution that it'd be a contribution for us to change and clear. Ooh, do you choose to go ahead and change and clear all that right here, right now? Ooh, yes, Ooh, I choose that. Vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy. Ooh. Oh yeah, and let's just remove all the energetic forces. Ooh. Out, 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 out. Ooh. Yeah, and those of you who are um, a little bit new to me, um, Everything we're doing is just to your uh, contribution. Um, so when we're moving the energetic forces, it really was just the ones that are messing with you. There you go, okay. Yeah, so all the energetic forces that are messing with you. <sighs> freeze all, pre-scan all, pre-tag all, pre-ID all, pre-encapsulate all, and out, 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 out. Wow. Yeah, and I don't know, isn't it kind of interesting that there's so many things that come up over the weekend? that kind of mess with us during the week. Woo, yikes. Yeah, and the weekends are supposed to be these this time where you know everything is like super nice and everything's working to our advantage, but woo, it's really not, yeah. Woo, vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy, wow, yeah. And it's one of those parts that we were gonna kind of, I wanna kind of talk about today is like, just like we were talking about in the holidays about how it's kind of this forced reflection time. Um, the end of the year is also one of those forced reflection times. Yikes. So everything the end of the year brings up for you. Whoa. Wowza. All of that, that's a contribution for us to change, clear, release, and remove. Do you choose to go ahead and change, clear, release, and remove all that? Wow. Yes, I choose that. Vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy. Wow. Yeah, and the thing is, is there's nothing wrong about you. <sighs> wow, okay, so everywhere <laughs> there must be something wrong about you. <sighs> Whoa, how is that? Did you choose to remove and destroy all that? Yes, I choose that. Vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy. Wow. Yeah, and so I was recently talking with a client about this, and it's interesting, um, is what if it's possible for you not to be making a mistake and still not have the life that you would like. So everywhere that just doesn't compute. Do you choose to remove and destroy all that? Whew. Yes, I choose that. Vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy, vaporize. Wowza. Yeah, and the thing is, is like when you do all these things that are quote unquote right or move you towards where you wanna go, it does make it a lot easier for you to achieve what you would like but it doesn't make it always a necessity or a ob obvious outcome. Yeah. yeah, wow. Yeah, so everywhere you've decided you must have done something wrong, <sighs> yeah. or you would have the life that you would like. Ah. Yikes, woo! So everywhere we think all that, do you choose to remove and destroy all that? <sighs> yes, I choose that. Vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy. Ah. Yikes, wowza. Yeah, and I know it seems like that. And that's one of the things that society also pushes on us is that, you know, if you did this thing, this thing, this thing, and you did all these things right, then you would have what you would like. Oh, wow, that still brings up a lot of energy. Woo, so everything that is, do you choose to remove and destroy all that? Whew. Yes, I choose that. Vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy, vaporize. Whoa, okay, it's starting to lighten up a little bit around that. And the reason there's lots of energy around this is because it's one of these ways that society works to make us wrong. Yeah, yeah, wow, woo. And it's part of this stuff as I've just kind of seen that so much of how society is designed, it's to make kind and caring people feel small, weak, and powerless. Ah. Woo, okay, all right, this is gonna be a big one. So everything that brought up, do you choose to re release and let go and remove all that? Woo, yes, I choose that. Vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy. Woo, <laughs> yikes, okay. Yeah, and so how I look at things is that's always the default. Um, yeah, it's kind of like instead of making myself wrong instantly, because I used to do that. You know, if something's not working, there's something wrong with me. Oh, wow. So everywhere that you've been doing that, if something's not working for you, that means there's something wrong with you. Ah, oh, yikes. 
How is that? Woo, did you choose to remove and destroy all that? <sighs> yes, I choose that. <sighs> vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy, vaporize. Wow, Ugh, yikes. Yeah. And this is one of the things I talk about in my courses too, is this kind of like the default answer for so many of us is that there's something wrong with us. Ugh, yikes. And the thing is, is like, once again, there's nothing wrong with you for thinking that. It's kind of one of those things that was kind of built in from us for us when we were, since we've been little kids. And a lot of it is, I think I've talked about this before, is that the most logical answer can often be wrong. Ugh. Yeah. And it's one of those things is when you're a small little kid trying to figure out why you don't fit in the world or why the world is so messed up, we look at what's going on. And since the world is so big and everybody else seems like they have it figured out and everyone else seems like they're having the best life, the default answer is there's something wrong with you. Ah. Well, okay, we got that. <laughs> so everything that brought up, you choose to remove and destroy all that. <laughs> yes, I choose that. Retract, rescind, revoke, recant, renounce, make null and void, make null and void, make null and void, make null and void. Wow. Okay. Woo. Yeah. And so we have all these things that are kind of building up to where we are now. You know, we're basically at this end of the time, end of the year, and end of the year is one of those times where society and everyone around us kind of makes us look back at the course of our year. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And we don't really want to look back at that because most of us think that we haven't accomplished as much this year as we should have. Ah, uh, yeah. Can you feel that? Ah. Uh. Wowza. Yeah. Okay. So everything we brought up so far in this call, that would be a contribution to change, clear, and release. Do you choose to release and clear all that? Yes, I choose that. Vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy. Ah, yikes. Yeah. Just let all that go. Let all that go. Let that go. Yeah. And that's one of those parts is because how we as humans are designed is actually to look at what's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of those ones we're designed to. So because of that, we have to use a little bit more energy to look at what's right or the good things. Like one of the parts is, is what I'm going to invite you to do over the next week is to look back over the year, not to, not to figure out what you didn't do because that's, ugh, yeah. And everything that still brings up vaporized liquefy, but to, to make a list of what you did do, what are some things you did accomplish? Because this happens with me too. You know, um, a couple of weeks ago, I was chatting with one of my friends. And I go, yeah, I'm kind of feeling like I really haven't done much today. You know, and she goes, well, what did you do? And I started listing off all the things I did. And she goes, that's actually a lot. And when I started listing off the things I did, because we, like I said, we tend to focus in on what we haven't done or the things that are wrong in, in our world and our lives. So what I'm gonna invite you to do is to look back over the year um, and just make a list of the things you have accomplished. And sometimes it's kind of hard to think about that. Like um, for me, I try to put a lot of things I do in my calendar so I can look back over my calendar over the year to see that, but you don't have to. It's just to start looking back over the year and seeing what you have accomplished and what you have done. Well, and do you kind of feel your bodies relax about that? You know, and why do they relax? Because you're recognizing yourself for being you and recognizing yourself for what you have done. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. No, that feels really good, doesn't it? Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. So we did, we got um, kind of a, oh, no, I wasn't going to say a sidetrack, but no, it was just like, because what was required for us to really get at is looking at that inherent wrongness that's kind of like built into society um, and how we can change that is by looking at the things that you have accomplished you have moved through because that's another part is like when, we, when you're on an empowerment path you know we tend to keep looking at like you know what we want to change where we want to be the person that we want to be and the thing is is like because we live with ourselves every second to every second we're often comparing who we are now to who we are, who we were just like a second or a minute ago. And no matter how fast you're changing, you know, who you are now isn't really that different from who you were a minute ago. Right? Yeah. But 
so what, we, what the trick around that is, is to look to who you were before, like a month ago, five months ago, a year ago. Okay, so we'll just do this, and I'm gonna I'm gonna warn you beforehand. Um, I want you to tap into to kind of jump into, take a quick look, and jump back, because one of the things is easy for us to do because we're so energetically aware and we haven't had a lot of training and practice. It's really easy for you to jump into some place that's not a contribution to you. Ugh and stay there. Ah, wowza. Okay, and everything that brought up, she choose to release, let all that go. Oh, yes, I choose that. Vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, and once again, this is actually a contribution to you, um, but it's one of those parts. So I'm gonna invite you to jump back into who, who you were a year ago, or like on January 1st, um, 2019. But once again, like I said, we're just gonna jump in, take a quick look, jump back. Okay, so because what we're really trying to do is compare who you are now to who you were a year ago. Oh, okay, so there's this like, and we all can do it just energetically. So jump, so just jump back to who you were a year ago. Yeah, and then jump back. Okay, there we go, yeah. And everything you picked up that's not a contribution, ah, you choose to remove and destroy all that. Ugh, yes, I choose that, vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy. Oh. Yeah, and do you notice how like who you are now is a lot more comfortable and a lot more powerful than you were a year ago? Yeah, do you feel the lightness around that? Ooh, yeah, I do too. Mm. Ooh, yeah, okay. And so like I was mentioning, so there's a couple things I'd like you to do um, over the next week. And you don't have to do these, it's just a su suggestion. So the first part is to, to make a list, and it could even be just a couple things, because what I want you to do is to see how you've done, uh, how you've had accomplishments over the year. You know, or it could even be you pick out like, you know, what's a couple things that you're really proud of that you did over the year? Okay, and then another one um, was just acknowledging how far you've come, how much more of the person you want to be, you actually already are. Because as we tapped into who you were a year ago, that was kind of funky and wasn't so amazing, even though it was, but you today is so much more than the you a year ago. Do you feel the lightness on that? Wow, yeah, it's huge, it's huge. And it's true for me too. You know, when I was stepping back into who I was a year ago, there was funkiness around that, you know, because I've changed a lot and you've changed a lot. Oh, okay. So everywhere, it's hard to see, hard to acknowledge how much you've changed over the year. Ugh, yikes, there you go. And all the unknowable, unspeakable, untouchable, undetectable, unconsciousness, anti-consciousness, disinformation, energy fog cloaking, and all manipulation around you, Ugh, all manipulation around your body, <laughs> and all manipulation around this topic, do you choose to remove and destroy all that? Ugh, yes, I choose that. Vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy. Ugh. Yeah, and so how much have you changed over the next, wow, do you feel, yeah, I didn't even get the words out. How much have you changed over the last year? Woo, do you feel all that lightness now? Yeah, woo, awesome, wow. Yeah, and that's not to say that we're exactly where we wanna be. No, we're not, but we're so much further along than we might've thought, yeah, woo. Okay, well, yeah, and over the next, um, uh, these videos, I'm gonna be sharing more about how you can keep using this end of the year uh, to show you how much, how far you've come, to use that to extend and increase your empowerment journey. Woo, wowza, yeah. Um, and I'll be giving you some more tips and tools. And then the, also the other part, as I mentioned uh, last week, I'm looking to really grow this group because like now we had a basically you know, 15 minutes, a really powerful class where I'm sharing, sharing with you stuff I normally charge for. Um, and I really want to get more of this information out. So if you could invite some other people to this uh, group so that they can also participate and have this great information, I'm gonna be running a little, uh, bonus um, for all of you that helped me increase this group. And if you have any questions that came up from 
uh, this call, some questions or things about your challenges at around the, the end of the year, please let me know in the comments um, because I really want to support you during this time. Um, okay, so, oh yeah, and then what's everything, um, yeah, what are all the things that will prevent you from having an amazing week? Ugh, yikes, okay, so all the things that are up, active or will prevent you from having an amazing week? Do you choose to remove and destroy all those things that are blocking you from having an amazing week? Woo. Yes, I choose that. Woo. Vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy. Woo. Spanish vanquish, Spanish vanquish, Spanish vanquish. Woo. Wowza. Wow. Okay. So I'm Max Riggs and I look forward to seeing more of the amazing you again soon. Bye for now.